Read and follow all labels and the owner's manual carefully before installing or operating your machine. The Millermatic 350P comes linked on 460 volt AC from the factory. Check what input voltage is available where you'll be using the Millermatic 350P. If you're unsure how to take a voltage reading, have a licensed electrician do it for you. If you have 460 volt AC three phase available, no further steps are necessary for relinking. Use a suitable plug or disconnect. Refer to the installation section of the owner's manual for proper wire and fuse or breaker sizing. If only single phase input power is available, use insulation sleeving and electrical tape to isolate the red lead on the power cord. If the voltage available is 230 volt, you will need to manually relink the machine from 460 volt to 230 volt. To relink the machine, turn off the Millermatic 350P and disconnect the input power. Significant DC voltage can remain on capacitors after the unit is turned off. Always make sure the voltage across the bus capacitors is completely discharged before working on the unit. Remove the sheet metal screws that hold the panel in place. Make sure to check across bus capacitors for voltage before proceeding any further. Once it's determined that bus voltage is not present, continue on. Notice the small relink board toward the top of the large circuit board. Four screws hold this board into place. Remove the screws and the white harness just to the left of the relink board. Slide the relink board over to the left side. Once the screws are started, use a nut driver to tighten the screws all the way down, but don't over tighten. Plug the harness into the newly exposed receptacle on the right hand side of the relink board and replace the sheet metal. 230 is now shown through the window on the panel. 